Oh, yeah. All right. Hey there. How's it going? Uh, I'm glad you could join me. Uh, that's that's great. You might be wondering, what is this exactly? And uh, also, where are the Grace Vanderwall reactions? Because it's been three months since the last Grace Vanderwall reaction did. I did. And that was to Clearly, which is a video I'll be talking about today. Uh, I do still intend to finish... Oh, jeez. To finish her album. Uh, I had three, I believe, three songs left from her album to do. And, yeah, I'm sorry I never... I didn't do it back then. It really was a mess. It was a messy time where it was inconsistent with uploads and whatnot. But I have every intention to do it. If you still want it, I mean... I'll still give it to you even if you don't want... Even if you don't want it. But I wanted to try out something new, almost like a new format of a video I could do in the future, and now is the future, and that is something called a comment follow-up. Uh, that's, I mean, it's it's a workshop title. I don't have a, a great title for it. Comment follow-up is the only thing I could think of. Uh, I was just going to say follow-up, but then I wanted to stress that it, it includes comments. But So basically what I'm going to do is for... Every now and again, there's a particular video where I'll make some comments and uh, people have a particular reaction to them in the comments. I'll make verbal comments and then people will type out some reactions and responses to that. Or just, uh, or there could be several things, but uh, certain videos like this one get more comments than others because there are certain points people latch on to and want to respond to. That's not to say I'm going to come on here and just like to try to defend my argument against every person and debate everybody. You know, there, I could defend myself on some things, but also it's I think it's interesting to kind of get out there new perspectives and whatnot. I've I've read through a lot of the comments already, so it's not like I'm getting blind reactions to most of these. It's, I haven't read them recently, but I do know the points people have made generally. Uh, but the main point I'm trying to take away here is, you know, trying to show that I'm taking a new perspectives and whatnot. And generally, I don't think I'll wait three months after a video is done. Maybe it would be a couple weeks after a video <laughs> has response to it. But this is one that stood out to me for a while. And I wanted to do it a while ago. But just now I'm trying to realize this idea. So I'll just kind of go through some comments and give some response to that. Whether I agree, disagree or you give me a new perspective. This is actually my favorite comment. I just want to throw it in there. You must realize nobody gives a shit where you've been or what you haven't listened to yet. And no, I don't think she's going to disappoint us. You, on the other hand, eh. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, Ron Who. Yes, for that comment. I always love thought thought-provoking comments like this. Okay, a couple things. Several people have said this, that it's not a true cover. And that was something I was, uh, you know, I assumed based on just the chorus, because I didn't know the song intimately well. I just knew the chorus. I was like, oh, it's the chorus, so it must have been the cover. But apparently, Les Cox says, this is not a true cover. Grace has taken Johnny Nash's song and rewritten it with many new words in a totally different style. By the way, he approved. Oh, by the way, he approved. Oh, cool. That's cool. And then she also says, Zach, have a look at her explanation as to how they did this video. The choir is just extras, probably locals. All the voices of the choir are just one guy and Grace herself repeatedly recorded in various ways and with the two of them having fun with weird voices. She said it was easier that way than trying to train or rehearse the choir as such. She also said it was great, def great fun to do it that way. Okay, so um, that's cool. I'm glad you mentioned that, but I, I hope it's not a response to my comment, uh, which is the it was the hot topic of this particular reaction, is that I mentioned at the end that I wasn't a big fan. There was like the one critique I really had of this video. I wasn't a big fan of the choir being there in the end, like peeking out of the house and joining in. Uh, but but I had said that I actually really enjoyed how it added to the song. I think. Well, I haven't. I don't remember exactly what I said, but if I didn't say this, this is what I meant. It, uh, I really enjoyed the choir in the end. I think it was really cool and it gave a powerful feeling there. And interesting that Grace was a lot of that choir as well, but uh, I just didn't like the visual part of it, having the choir there. I feel like you could have had the choir backing up her vocals, but also 
just not had her there because I think it's kind of more powerful her by herself finding strength. But I guess they wanted to take that sim- symbolism. They wanted to take that symbolism and make it actually like a literal thing on video. So uh, Val Richard says to me the choir was a representation of faith. Have faith in yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I heard a couple. There were a couple of variations of this in the comments that the choir was seemingly supposed to be. Uh, some people saw as angels. I don't know if there was a specific explanation from Grace if it was supposed to be an actually like religious uplifting thing or if it was just a symbolic thing. I don't know, but uh, have I got the idea that it was like faith and it was almost her, you know, faith whether it be religious or just faith in yourself in general. Uh, I got that idea and I just think that uh, orally beautiful visually not necessary but i'm fine with it by all means it's not like oh that video sucks because of that no it's just it was a minor thing that uh it's not my preference brian schrodel says the choir is a representation of what we miss in our isolation or depression we may feel present and aware but we truly are not because we are too focused on our shortcomings it is only when we step away from our despair that we see the support we have the house is isolated and lonely, and it is just her in that dark, depressive space. When she decides to leave the house, she slash we see that there are more. There was more there that there that was not revealed to us in the original context. We all may see something different, and that is the beauty of good art. For anyone struggling from depression, there's far more there that what you current than what you currently sleep, see. Shoot, people do care, and we each have our choir. Oh, that was nice, Brian. What we miss in our isolation or depression. That's that's good, too. I mean, it's all along the same theme. But, yeah, you can definitely, like you said, different interpretations are great. I always love that. You can watch anyone watching the same video, and they'll get completely different interpretations of it, you know. If you are a religious person, rep, religious person you might take a religious context from that. Uh, if not, like myself, I'd take more of the uh, thematical approach, you know. I get when we miss in our isolation or depression. I like that a lot. It's uh, you know because the video is her, the whole video is sort of spent by herself and uh, clearly not in the best of spirits. But when the the chorus ramps up, I can see clearly now. And then by the end, she can see so clearly that she can see the the joy and the happiness around her, present in the choir. Lar six two two one eight chalk says, it's my understanding that the concept of the music video came from Grace, so apparently the choir meant something to her. As you know by now, the song is a reinterpretation of I Can See Clearly Now. They borrowed only two lines. Okay. That's an important feature I never would have known was that few. <laughs> like, that's the, the chorus is all I know from that song. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. I can see all the things that I cannot ch- All that. But that was some more than two lines, right? Isn't there a couple more? Okay. Stephen Schaefer. There are many people that have been beaten down by the world. Some so badly we don't even care to go out of our houses. When I saw this, I felt as if Grace knew me. I cry when I watch it. She decides she is finally going to go outside and be part of the world. The choir is part of the celebration of her victory. That's what I see. Yeah. Of course. That's another great interpretation. It seems we're all on the same page here, doesn't it? Uh, Maybe I, I just gave off the wrong impression, you know. If I criticize something... Uh, visually or even if I criticized it in, in the the song itself which I didn't it's uh, you know it's all out of love it's not me trying to bring the song down it's like these are the minor things I always want to give constructive criticism and not just you know say everything's perfect everything's perfect Steph the nanny hey Zach I actually disagree about this about the choir being in the song I think the so- song sounds really powerful but I agree with you that the choir stuffed in the house was a bit odd but I like when they sing behind her at the end I liked how they started the video with her contouring her face with makeup to look skinny or as they say snatched it was a raw moment of her looking in the mirror and not loving herself and then she has an epiphany and wipes the makeup off but then in the second verse maybe they should have had another raw moment because real life isn't always once you are fixed you are happy forever. You still have darker moments where you have to remind yourself that you're worth it. So I didn't like how they didn't revisit a dark place. Like to me, it seemed once she was happy, everything was perfect for the rest of the song. Steph, thank you for that. I, uh. It seems you don't really disagree with me. Again, you said I disagree about the choir being in the song. I, I liked the choir being in the song. Thank you very much. Uh, this <laughs> is. 
In response to your other criticism, I would disagree with you. Uh, only because, you know, it's a very... that uh, for If you wanted something like that, I would say it'd have to be like a six-minute video or like a really like an extended short film-style music video, which this is not. This is a uh, a small storyline accompanying a song, but it's like you think take a song like the 1-800 song by Logic, uh, Alicia Cara, Khaled. That one is like a film, like one of the film style music videos that then adds in the song and it complements it that way. This is the song that adds in the video for this. So it's not like, it's not like a short film really. So, so music videos generally you don't get that many ups and downs in terms of the, the build up of the song really you know climax is at the part where she can see clearly now and then the uh, song doesn't lend itself to a, but another bad moment because the song just really ramps up at that part and it's all good and all joyous and it's not like a, a tv show or a film where you have you have a whole arc it's uh jesus <laughs> it just quickly goes to resolution in this this style of a music video. So there's not enough time for like uh, true character development, you know. But I get what you're saying. J. Lewis says, "Just enjoy the video." Welcome to the channel. Michael Lauer says, "Doing a reaction video to this song this late and yet you know nothing about it. That is truly mediocre on your part. There's a difference between good work and sloppy, careless, half-assed work." This is not an example of good work. Try harder next time. Don't just skate along through life. Did I respond to this? David Taylor jumped in and said, Don't be a dick. Kid's got a life to live. Give him a break. Yeah, this kid's got a life to live. No, all right. Uh, I'm all for criticism, but in the yeah, end, you could have posed... You, you could have uh, <laughs> phrased it a little differently, you know? People throw out these, like harsh criticisms like this and they're like oh this will get him good it's like you're not you don't have good intentions with the, these kinds of comments but that being said let me actually like respect your comment and respond to it me not knowing anything about it is uh purely for the reaction and that's because you know i don't have over the top reactions oh jesus my i more so rely on the commentary afterwards I like the review part so could I watch the video then look up everything about all the details about it and then do this do the review after that yes but it's like I, I'm not doing one video a week I'm doing several a week and it's really it's not practical to do things that way and uh, for reaction's sake I don't want to go into it being like alright I haven't seen the video I haven't heard the song but I have looked up all her thoughts on the direction of it, it looked up the origin of the song and all this. Um, and so it would take some pretty deep digging. It's not like this was uh, the top the top of the pop charts or anything and I should just know these things. So I don't think there was, it was that bad that just because I didn't know, I don't know what, what you're really trying to get at here. But yeah, a couple of people mentioned that this, she did do a live performance of this that it's on YouTube without the choir so that would be interesting to check out for sure Grace is a shock to the system every time you hear a new song from her the choir was a bit of a distraction and so was that Ariana cover you were doing at 901 all you needed was a ponytail what cover did I do at 901 what that's that's the Ariana cover was that what are you trying to, are you trying to, was that like a heat comment towards Ariana Grande? I don't get it, but. Okay, thank you. That's going to about wrap it up. There are plenty more comments, but a lot of them were uh, more or less the same. Obviously, I appreciate you all as individuals. I don't want to generalize you into these comments, but I can't do all the comments. It would be even longer than it already is. Uh. So this is me trying out this kind of video. Let me know what you thought. And uh, welcome back if you're a Grace Vanderwall fan and you haven't been around for a while since I haven't done anything for a while. 
uh, I will get back. I don't. I don't want to leave things unfinished. I have like three songs left to that album. I'm not gonna just leave them like that. I'll get them done. Rest assured. Thank you for watching. I love you. And uh, 